All right, let's do this thing. Jump off! Is it? Oh, I didn't land on it. I ah, I gotta go make more parachutes. Well, I'm gonna go make some. Oh, what the heck? How did I kill myself? I was par on a parachute. Hey there, everybody. Mazion reporting for duty, and today I am hot. As you can see, ah, and I'm hot because I'm standing by a massive amount of fireplaces that I put in my base. Everything's burning. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I have created a ton, uh, a way to make a ton of gunpowder. Um, and this is, this is my charcoal farm right now. Um, we'll do something different at the new base. I just wanted something for the interim. So I put some stuff in there doing some things. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is we're going to go over. We need to start getting the the area at the new base set up. Now, what that's going to mean is we're going to need all, a lot of our own dinos that we don't have right now. We've been using community mammoths and stuff to get our work done. So we're going to get a mammoth today. I need to go over there and get a mammoth. And I think what I'm also going to try to do is I've been seeing people and hearing people uh, talk about how they can jump down on the back of a Quetzal solo and tame it that way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try that i've got six parachutes we're going to fly around on majestic and have it on follow we'll first first put it on follow get on it and then when we jump off it'll follow us and we're doing that so that we can get onto the back of a quetzal and try to shoot it in the head while we ride it um so once we're over to the base we will be back with you and it's time for mammoth hunting so I went back to get my Quetzal, and I found a level 116 mammoth that's right there. But this red drop also came down. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Grab up this red drop real quick. Hey, what's up? So the Quetzals pick up the mammoths, and I, I didn't think about it. But duh, bring your Quetzal so you don't have to fight all the dire wolves in the entire tundra. Wow. i having a hard time getting up here. All right. There we go. And a ramshackle pistol and some crap leggings. Oh, well. But let's pick up this mammoth. and tr I'm going to try to bring it back to the taming box. Put it in there and see what happens. But are you the guy? And I don't know if I mentioned to you guys. I have darts with me. And we're going to test the efficacy of darts on a mammoth. Now, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like the... Stamina bar drains any faster because you're carrying a gigantic mammoth, but I'm sure that might be something that I implement at some point. Man, this is a strong Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal is what we'll call it. And uh, right up here should be my taming bin. A lot of trees. There it is. I'm going to try to drop it in there. I'm afraid that the mammoth is going to be able to, to hit me. That's my fear. And then we might just have to do it like in an open area. All right, let's see how we can... Drop this guy in there. Is he dropping? He's on top of me. Why are you on top of me? How did that happen? I don't want I don't want this. Get off. Get off of my platform. You're not welcome. Really confused. Get off. Thank you. Let's try this again. Pick up the guy. Do not intersect with the taming bin. Drop him in the taming bin. Did he go in? He went in. All right, so there's a saber down here. We're going to have to kill it with our Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl Nautilus. Did we pick it up? We did. Crush it. Crush it with fire, I think. Or not kill it at all. Nothing is happening. I don't care. We're just going to bring it over here and drop it. Bye bye. All right. So now we're going to go back over to the tank platform. We're going to see if this guy will hit us. And we're going to try to pew it in the face. Here we go. And so these Quetzalcoatls are, are pretty amazing. Make sure that it's on passive. It's on aggressive. That's not good. And this mammoth is really tall. 
I think that it's going to hit me. Oh, mammoth guy. Oh, that's what we do. We stand over here and do it. Oh, he's going to try to break out. One shot to the head so far. Two shots. Three shots. All right. So I'm going to keep pew pew in this guy. And so you can see the durability of my gun is going down a lot. And so I've used this before, and I actually do not think that it is a good method to employ um, unless you have a high durability rifle. Let me go here, right here. X to stop. So, yeah. Really not digging the fact that the durability of the gun goes down so fast. And I've brought my crossbow as backup. Let's see how much, how bad this uh, mammoth destroys that wall over there. I can't remember how many darts I had. I'm going to have to look back at the video to see how effective this was. But as soon as I have this guy down, I'll be back with you. And it's down! And so it took, uh, I don't know, like three arrows after I ran out of uh, durability. And I think that the the my long rifle breaks after about 24 shots. What's What am I fighting down here? All right. Like, what's going on? You're half in, half in and half out of this thing, sir. So I brought advanced crops to feed this thing today. We're just going to throw them right in there. Um... And some of those. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy tamed. And then we're going to bring him back down to the base. After we get this guy tamed up. Are you a guy or a girl? It is a guy. I'm using the correct gender. Uh, after we do get this guy tamed up. Well, we're going to bring him down there. And we're going to go try to jump on the back of a Quetzal. And tame it that way. We're going to use a crossbow though. Because like I said guys. It's about 24 shots from my apprentice long neck rifle. To break max durability 123. 313 durability on this guy. So we might have got like a... I need to check the rest of the apprentice rifles. Uh, rather, the rest of the long neck rifles to see what their du durabilities are like. Um, because it's really not worth it if it breaks after every 24 darts to use it on a big animal. you just better off to use your, your crossbow. I mean, it might t uh, slow um, speed up your process of taming. But it costs 170 ingots for me to repair that thing every time uh, for 24 shots. Not worth it to me. Not going to continue to do that. I'm going to use my crossbow. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that, like, since it took seven shots to take down a packy, maybe some smaller type creatures uh, with lower torpor rates are good for the gun to make that kind of stuff faster. Maybe a dodicarus, that kind of thing. Not really sure. We're going to keep, uh, keep testing it, keep using it, but I'm definitely never going to use it again on something large. No bueno. Anyway, after we've got this guy up, we'll be back with you. So there's a level 44 Alpha Carno right near the taming box, and I'm very nervous. Very nervous. We're going to try to lure it away. If we can get it to come away. You going to come away? Come on, Alpha Carno guy. If we can get it far enough away, we should be good. I would kill it, but I am on my Pteranodon. And while I know it's possible, I don't really want to spend the time that is involved trying to kill an Alpha Carnal level 44 with my Pteranodon. So now we've got it kind of out of the way. It should be happy with food and eats it finds down there. Um, so we should be good now. Uh, but i going to come back, check on the team. And then I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go out and try to find the Quetzal. Because uh, this is going to take a really long time. So, uh, let me see. We're down by about 700, so we can feed it 20. I'll just feed it 15 for now. So, that'll keep it, bring it back to full, full torpor. And now we're just going to go out and try to find ourselves a Quetzal. Once I find it. I'll get with you guys so you can see me try to surf on it. All right, so I've been looking for a Quetzal for about 30 minutes. Uh, and all my, my Pteranodon, that means that I've crisscrossed the map and come back to the tame like five times. What level we have hanging out here? Level four. So I don't really care what level it is. I'm not really trying for a tame, really. 
What I am trying for is to land on its back, see if it's possible to tame in that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up, get a little bit ahead of it. And, uh, <laughs> and then try to jump off onto it as soon as I figure out when it's going to be feasible to do so. We've got four parachutes or six parachutes, something like that. All right. So it's going to go in this direction. I don't know. All right. So it's turned. You're going to turn again. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, geez. It's such a, such a delicate process, right? You guys are like, come on, get on with it already. And I'm like, oh, I'm so scared to jump and fall and die. Okay, let's go. All right, that didn't work. Try one. All right, we relocated the Quetzal. Let's try this again. This time, I'm going to line right up over it. Oh, it moved. Stop moving. Quetzal thing. Go. No, it's too fast. I'm going to have to go way out ahead of it. You have to predict where it's going and then be there. Only got four tries left. Now let's get this done. Right, so do not move at the last second, Quetzal. Go! Oh, almost. Almost landed on it that time. I think Majestic is on follow. Ow, what do you mean? Oof. That should not have hurt. Why did that hurt? Three more tries. <sighs> Such a pain. Maybe if I had another Quetzal. Quetzal Pretzel. Oh, that stupid wing of Majestic. It's in the way. Why am I so... No, don't hurt. It's going to hurt when I land. No, it didn't hurt. Okay. Where's Majestic? Okay. We've got a couple more tries here. This is ridiculous. I'm thinking about going to get my Quetzalcoatl and just uh, wait for it to come by and then jump off the platform. That seems to be like a more sensible plan. Because this is not working well. Here we go. Oh, almost landed on it. It's so close. Come on, Majestic. Do your job. Why is it hurting? I don't like the hurting and the pain. I'm going to have to make some more parachutes. I'm determined to do this properly. One more parachute. We got to get even farther. That's a little too far ahead of it, Majestic. A little too far. All right, that's not far enough. Not far enough. That's not in position appropriately. All right, let's do this thing. Jump off. Is it? Oh, I didn't land on it. I, ah, I got to go make more parachutes. Well, I'm going to go make some. Oh, what the heck? How did I kill myself? I was on a parachute. All right, so we're going to go back and get my body and uh, build some more parachutes and give this some more shots. Well, guys, I got bad news. Um, Majestic died, and uh, I can't find my, my body, or my pack, rather, because I heard things eat my body. But, uh, yeah, so I'm looking around for my pack here. I took down the location where I died. It was about 2932, uh, 49, 49, 32. And uh, uh, can I get on a Memphis Bell, please? Thank you. So I'm kind of sad, kind of bummed out that Majestic died. Uh, probably should have just done the Memphis Bell thing from the get-go. Used the platform and tried that. Um, so there's a there's a hole in that method of, of doing it solo. Sometimes when I landed with the parachute, I took damage. Sometimes I did not. And it's unfortunate because, yeah, my perfect tame Tyranodon is dead. <laughs> It's really a big bummer. But we'll get another one. That's the way it goes sometimes out here in Ark. 
But what I'm really kind of bummed about at the moment, more than anything, is that I can't find my pack. I don't know where my pack is. I don't know exactly where I died. I'm going to have to go look at the footage to try to see where I dropped, see if I can locate my pack. A uh, bunch of stuff killed me, but... So, I'll be RBs. I want to see if I can locate the pack. We got to go back to the Mammoth and work on the Mammoth team. All right, guys. Well, Corrales and Monkey Farm came and helped me find my body. Um, I ended up finding it myself, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Majestic is dead. So, we're going to have to go out there and put a tombstone down for Majestic. I've decided that I'm going to discontinue the Quetzal attempts for the day. Because I lost Majestic, it kind of made me sad. And I don't want to lose another dino. I, I, I mean, I guess I could put, like, bring bring an Argentavis, make sure it's on neutral. And, uh, I mean, this one, you know, it's got 5,000 health and, and uh, 1,100 melee damage. It could probably take care of itself. But I think I'm just going to forego that for the day. We're just going to continue to work on this mammoth. It's a big mammoth. And we want to take it home. We want it to be safe. So I'm going to, like, chill out around here and just monitor it. Actually, I'm going to chill out here where it's not cold and, mo and monitor the mammoth. Make sure that it's going to be a good tame. And, yeah, we'll be back with you when it's about to be up. All right, people. This is around where I fell to my death and um, where Majestic died. I know so because of this rock that you can see from the sky. So I'm going to come down here. We're going to put down a tombstone for Majestic in memory. Where's the Dilo that that's attacking? Killing everything that the Dilo's killed my mate, my friend. Oh, now I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm forced to kill all of these things now. And I think the Sankey's like level ridiculous. No, never mind. They, they died easy. So, it was right down in here, in the vids. So, I'm going to go ahead, get off. I'm going to make a tombstone. Oh, we already made the tombstone. Oh, I'm going to get irritated with that dialo. I'm going to kill it a lot. Man, place is dangerous. Ark is dangerous. And so, yeah, there's a lot of trees missing because we kind of destroyed them all. But Majestic died somewhere right near here. Rest in peace, Majestic. You were a perfect time. I'll miss that. <laughs> what a jerk. What a jerk I am. <laughs> Oh, man, I got to get another perfect tame for Pteranodon. My other one, Fly Girl, is like super low level. Super lame, low level Pteranodon. We don't have any other cool Pteranodons around here. Oh, man. And Pteranodons are a pain. I don't think we've been over that in the past. They're just a pain. I'm going to have to go tame one. I'm going to have to get some kibble for it, which is the easy sauce part. Dodo kibble. And we'll go get a new Pteranodon. We'll do that soon, but... We're on our way back to where the mammoth is located. And we'll be back with you soon. And the mammoth has been tamed, folks. We've been waiting here for a long, long time. And we're going to call the mammoth Mammon. Mammon. Oh, it didn't work. What the heck? I must have pressed the other one by accident. Maz. Mammon. Mammon the mammoth. Following me, excuse me, following Mazion. Not feeling well, guys. I'm a little sick today. It's kind of rough. You know what's really funny? What I find funny about this? A T-Rex can make it through that door if you put it in there. But a mammoth will not. So on follow, a T-Rex will follow you out of a gate that size, but this mammoth will not do that. Kind of interesting. So we got to... Uh, Gonna demolish the gate frame. Kind of a pain in the butt. All right, mammoth guy. Are you still stuck? Really? Are you, are you super serial right now? Come on. 
I'll have to remake this thing later. All right, so we're going to take Mammon the Mammoth, actually. Actually. For anything, I've got a saddle for this guy. And it's the one that I found a long time ago. And it's Ramshackle. Let's look at the stats. 4590 health. 390 oxygen. Why am I looking at oxygen? 4 1485 stamina. 760 weight. And 405 melee damage with 222% movement speed. This is a fast mammoth. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a mammoth. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. That's the mammoth song. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave it on follow. We're going to grab up Blackwing Face. We're going to go towards the base, which incidentally is past that level 44 alpha card we found earlier. Hopefully we don't run into it, but when we get back to the base, we'll be back with you. All right, so we've got Mammon back to the base. And he's here with the other, the other guys. Oh, incineration and direwolf. But face. So what we're gonna do actually is I asked everyone on the server, and the and some people said that they thought that this was Mr. Miola's, but apparently this direwolf is nobody's. I checked, nobody's direwolf. So this direwolf is officially mine, and we're gonna name it. Lightning. Lightning the dire wolf. Oh no, Darko was killed. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to grab up Incineration. And I saw that Carno over there. That one that we put where... Uh, we put it out of the way so that it wouldn't mess with our tame. Well, it's still over there and I want to kill it. I'm going to take Incineration to do so. I think between Incineration and Blackwing Face, we should be able to kill that Carno. When we get to it, I'll be right back with you. All right, the Carno's right here. I'm gonna make sure, you know, he's, he should be on neutral. What? That's our Rex. Okay. Going in. Kill the Carno. Kill it with fire, incineration. Kill it with fire. Kill the Carno. Kill the Carno. Kill the Carno, Clementine. Or something. Where? Where? Where is incineration? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Why are you attacking that? Attack the, attack the thing. Uh, incineration might die today. Cause he's being stupid. Kill the car, no incineration. We want the XP's and we want, oh, incineration's probably gonna die. Look at that. Unless this car, no dies soon. Come on, Carno. Go down. Got Blackwing Face at half. Incineration's almost dead. We killed the Carno! Woo! That was really close, guys. What do we got? Can I get off of my bird? I can. Can we check the body? We can. Nothing. Nothing on the body. I'm trying to get back to my bird. What about... Incineration's inventory. Nothing in there. Woo! That was a close one. What about Blackwing Face's inventory? Apprentice, crossbow. Ramshackle crossbow. So we've got a new crossbow. It's not as good as our... Oh! Apprentice Metal Hatchet. Not as good as our Journeyman Metal Hatchet. But we've got some backup items now. So our crossbow's better, but the hatchet and the... Uh, the crossbow we got are good backup items. Not bad at all. I just gave Zul'jin a 144% today, so this will take care of that. We can have some more stuff to leave uh, in our fast travel chest. Now, I didn't even check. Look how look how bad and, and what bad shape Incineration is. Incineration is just a pair of legs. Wow. Yeah, he almost died. We need to get a saddle for him because uh, that armor is a, is a big help. We've got some pelt. Anyway... Bert, Bert, I'm stuck between a, an incineration and a blackwing face. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. That's all the time we have for today. Please say a little prayer for Majestic. Who... <laughs> thank you. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you, blackwing face, for paying homage. I'm just going to stand here while, while it gets eaten. 
That was a good moment with Blackwing Face. He uh, he really respects. Holy, holy moly, moly! Let's get out of here before something bad happens. Come on, incineration! Come this way, man. No, incineration's gonna get eaten. We must kill this before it kills incineration. Oh, jeez. Woo! I think it was only a level eight, Rex. Let's go back home. We'll say our goodbyes at home. That was crazy. All right, for realsies this time. Uh, it's too bad we lost Maz Jestic today, but that's the way things go sometimes in ARC. If you like the episode today, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do so in the comments below. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Mazion1. And you guys be excellent to each other. Have a great day, folks. See you later.